everyone, it's Tessie here from Meyer Hatchery. I'm here in my delightful hatching village, which I'm sure all of you have set up in your home as well. The difference is, is that today I'm trying something for the first time. I'm actually going to be incubating and hatching my own Cornish cross eggs from the hatchery. So I received my shipment yesterday and I let them rest overnight with the uh, pointy side down so that they could settle in the uh, air packet would stay at the top. Um, and then I got them all out and candled them to make sure I didn't have any cracks. If you do ever have any cracks when you receive your hatching eggs, just make sure to contact us at the hatchery. So I put all of my eggs into the incubator in here. Now I do have three incubators going, so I chose the one that I liked the best for these hatching eggs. I also have them in a place where I know that my humidity and my temperature are gonna be stable. A lot of my really bad hatches happened when I moved these incubators to a different room. A room that had a lot of light shining in or a room that had a draft. In here, I know that they're in a great place. My humidity and my temperature are gonna remain consistent and I don't have to worry. Plus, it's right in my kitchen so I can check on them and check their humidity quite often. So today is day number one, day three. I'm gonna check them and see how we've developed and we'll talk about why hatch your own Cornish at home? See you on day three. Hey everybody, I just got done candling my eggs. Um, we're on day five and I wanted to show you what a blood ring looks like in an egg. So this is where this little one started to develop, but then it stalled out. Maybe the temperature, there was a hot spot or a cold spot in my incubator, um, or it just naturally happened. So this is what a blood ring looks like. What happens is those vessels start to form and then they break and start to decompose and they settle forming that blood ring. So this is actually the only egg of my hatching eggs that's not gonna make it and I'm super excited. So we're gonna check back right before lockdown and then it'll be time for Cornish, yay. All right, so it's day 18 and I just put um, my hatching eggs on lockdown. So you can see in here, I've taken out the turner. I added a flooring of this um, shelf liner because it's really good for them to be able to grip when they're hatched. And it also helps me because I live in such an old house. I live in a 180 year old house. Um, our floors are uneven and stuff. So when I put things, like when I put an egg on a surface, it rolls. So this actually helps me a lot in a lot of different ways. Um, but this is actually the first time that I have filled this incubator to the brim for hatching. So I'm interested to see how this works because normally I have a lot of early losses in my eggs and I did not with these Cornish cross. So, um, there's a full 20, I think there's 22 eggs in there. And, uh, now we wait and see some of them when I candled it, I could see they were starting to peck through into the air cell. So it should only be about a day or two now before we start seeing them pip and then they'll be out and I'm so excited. So let's see what we can see. It's hatch day. Look at all my little babies. Let's see if we can give them a knock and wake them up. They say, oh, who was there? So one by one, they are all unzipping and hatching. And so far, it looks like there's about 10 of them out in there and then a big pile of fluff. They're kind of hard to see. Let's go visit this little one right there. Oh, good morning, good morning. Oh, she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So um, we're gonna keep watching these little ones and make sure they all hatch. And then we'll get them into their brooder once they're all fluffed. Happy birthday, babies. Well, this looks like a special delivery, but they've been living with me already for three days. Having the Cornish hatched at home and then going straight into the brooder has severely decreased the amount of pasty butt. No babies have pasty butt. They are happy. They are thriving. I think this might be my way of getting Cornish from now on. So if you're in the mood for some hatching eggs, check us out at MeyerHatchery.com or be sure to like and subscribe so you can check out all these amazing chicks. Have a great day, everybody.